Welcome to today's Sunday devotional. I'm Jamie, and it's great to have you spend time with us today. We've been in a awesome series this month called Dangerous Discussions, and we're basically trying to keep our foot out of our mouth and control the tongue and see how we can grow in the area of what we say and today we wrap that series up so i hope it's been a good month for you as far as reflection and we're going to try to get very practical today with some tactics uh, in god's word that we can use uh, to grow in the area of our tongue and our conversational life and what we say um, i think the one of the biggest things i've learned this month is that words matter and what we say matters and it's probably the most direct association we have with each other are the things we say. I can recall a time I had a basketball player and I had recruited this player to college and they were freshmen. And during a practice, we had ran a set that created an open shot. It was actually a three pointer. And the player didn't shoot the three, even though they were wide open. Um, and I remember stopping everything and saying, I need you to shoot that shot. We're not going to get a better shot. And the player had the ability to make the shot, but throughout their high school career, their coach had really told them they weren't a three-point shooter. And so the words affected that person's ability to see themselves as something different. So words matter. What we say matters. And it took probably a good month and a lot of shots for that person to work through that so that they could mute that voice from their past and hear a new voice that built confidence and created a new identity as far as their abilities as a basketball player. God's word, I think you'll see a series of things where God speaks and something happens. God says, let there be and there's creation. You know, God says, uh, Lazarus come forth and the dead guy comes back to life you know he says things and people get healed and so there's this, there's this creative capability with words and we have a similar being in God's image we have a similar thing within us where what we say can have an impact now you might, you might not be able to speak something into existence but your words, whether they're good or bad, could really do good or they could do harm. And so I wanted to really look at God's word with the mindset that what we say does matter. And our, our Heavenly Father, His words have creative capability. Let's see what God's word says. I want you to first turn to James one nineteen. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry. You must be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry. You know, in a day and age where we have a lot of social media beef, and we have a lot of social media arguments, um... Maybe James 1.19 resonates at some experience you've had, but that's very practical, tactical advice as far as our conversational life or our social media interactions. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry. There's nothing wrong with taking a little time out from the situation and just listening and thinking before we talk. If we did that, we would probably do a lot more good in this world and get ourselves in a lot less trouble. So keep that word, the words of James 119 pinned at the back of your mind. And then I want to go to Matthew 15, 10 and 11, where Jesus uh, really says the exact same thing. He's teaching a crowd of people um, and kind of setting some things with some clarity. And here's what Matthew 15, 10, 11 says. Then Jesus called to the crowd and said, Come and hear, listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your mouth that defiles you. 
you are defiled by the words that come out of your mouth. So here's Jesus is doing the same kind of tactic. He's telling the crowd, come here, stop and listen. Try to understand. It's not what goes into your mouth that defiles you, but it's what comes out of your mouth that defiles you. So it's really the exact same things we see with James. Be quick to listen, slow to speak. Jesus would add, try to understand. Be slow to get angry. And then Jesus says, it's not what goes in your mouth that defiles you, but what comes out of it. What great coaching this is in the book of James and in the book of Matthew in the words of Jesus. He's really given us a game plan for our, our real lives on how we can interact with people and encounter different perspectives, maybe that we disagree with. But as we communicate and interact with people, you see this theme of, hey, take a time out. Listen. Try to understand. Be slow to get angry. And think about what you're going to say. If we would do that in our world, across the board, in a variety of interactions and situations, this world would be a better place. And I can't think of a greater advice than the game plan he laid out for us right there. So our challenge for this week, let's be quick to hear, slow to anger, quick to understand, slow to get angry. What a great challenge that is as we close out this month's theme of Dangerous Discussions. Let's pray. Lord, I want to thank you so much for uh, this month and this series. Sometimes we get in, sp in spiritual conversations and in church world, we can get really high-minded and over people's heads. But here, it's such a practical thing we all deal with. Lord, help us to be more mindful of what comes out of our mouths. Lord, change our hearts so that our hearts would be right, so that when we do speak, it honors you. And Lord, may what we say be something that helps make this world a better place. There's enough destructive capability, there's enough hatred and divisiveness already we don't need any more help us to be a part of the solution and not part of the problem change us in what you want us to be in our hearts and through the words we say in jesus name i pray amen <laughs>